Hello, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit www.jcbrolabs.org. In this tutorial video, we will talk about how to uh, listen a sound generated by MATLAB using Simulink. In other words, we will generate a particular specific tone uh, using Simulink and we will listen through the speakers. Okay. So open MATLAB. In MATLAB, you can open Simulink by typing the command Simulink. Then we will create a new model and then we will save it at our desired location. So we can write it like sound generation. Search in this part audio in your MATLAB and we will get several blocks uh, from the device there are certain built-in blocks uh, through the MATLAB the first is two audio device select this two audio device so two audio device means whatever the data is being generated that will be transferred to the default audio device of your computer and then sound will be generated through that uh, sound card Obviously, we want to generate a particular tone, so we will select a source as a sine wave and then we will interconnect them. Let's run it. Oops. You will get this error sign because uh, your sound card operates at a particular sample rate and you have to define the sample rate of the input source as accordingly. So, this is the critical part. So we will go to the parameters of this two audio device block and we will deselect it and we will check the sample rate as this one 44,100 and then apply and then ok. Now we will go to the para parameters window of this sine wave, we will take amplitude as it is. We will change the frequency for having more inform for having precise information like how much frequency in flow in hertz we are generating we will write it directly like 2 pi f because here frequency is in radian per second so we need to specify in 2 pi f so if we are writing 2 pi into 1000 so we will be generating a thousand some uh, 1000 or 1 kilohertz frequency through this and we will take the sample rate as one of the sampling frequency because this was the sampling frequency which is going to be used by the audio device so we'll take the same as a sample time for generating the sine wave from uh, this sine wave block and then apply and then okay. and then just run it and you will hear a particular tone sound in your headphone or microphone or uh, through your speaker here we can select the device there are various devices available so generally we take default or suppose you have connected several other sound music system to your computer you can select that specific one and then now let's see whether this sine wave is generating exactly the precise wave or not so we will check uh, all this through spectrum analyzer so let's see spectrum analyzer there and this particular block of spectrum analyzer is there and simply connect it and let's run it. So this will be showing the graphical representation of this generated wave on a spectrum analyzer. So we are not able to see clearly how much uh, what frequency is being generated there. So we will do one thing. We will choose this zoom in option and right click here and then zoom option horizontal zoom and one click here and another click. So now you can see clearly it is one kilohertz frequency wave which is being generated there. Oh, oh let's uh, rerun the complete model again from this and we can okay, 
the zoom option and horizontal zoom so we can now uh, try if there is several other experiments to it suppose uh, let's see uh, let's see what happens if we generate or we if we combine two different sine waves all together so let's take uh, adder because we want to add so it will be like simply and select this one and control button and drag it you will generate another block of the same size everything will be same of this except uh, we want to change the frequency so let's change the frequency to 100 and then apply and then ok and let's run it now you can see there are several peaks there it is the negative frequency and it is the positive frequency so let's zoom in So this is the 0.1 kilohertz sequence that is 100 hertz and 1 kilohertz sequence is being generated there and you can uh, change the amplitude of uh, these waves to uh, generate various type of sounds from this MATLAB and obviously you can do several bit uh, you can generate several a melody songs or melody sounds for this or you can create a program for that so i hope uh, from this video you will understand how to generate uh, a sound uh, from matlab and especially using simulator so that's it for this video thank you